Hey everyone, my name is Claude from The Lamest Defenders, a Marvel-centric YouTube channel, and today I am bringing you guys just something a wee bit different, and that is a Steve Harrington from Netflix's Stranger Things uh, cosplay tutorial, or I guess a Halloween costume tutorial as well. So, you know, with Halloween, just uh, I'm pretty sure a few weeks away, uh, time is of the essence, so there's a lot to go over, but basically for Steve, you need to focus strictly on his hair, and the other details aren't so important, so really, I mean, if you, you get the, the hair down, it's, you know, you, you did a good job. Focus on the hair, and maybe, uh, I know you can get his uh, Scoops Ahoy costume pretty much anywhere now, so uh, let's just go ahead and get started, and I'll show you how to transform into the world's best babysitter. Let's go. Alright, so welcome back. So just got out of the shower. Well, I guess washed my hair because I cheated. And here I am with this uh, hair dryer. So first things first, this isn't a fancy hair dryer at all. But uh, yeah, basically for this, um, I'm just sweeping my hair back. I have, um, I don't know, I haven't got a haircut in a while. So I just kind of let it do its own thing. I have a, it's shorter on the sides and really long up top, but um, and here I am. It's more about just trying to get it all, uh, all 80s like. So that's basically feathering. I'm not a uh, hairstylist whatsoever, as you can tell. Nor do I film uh, hair tutorials on YouTube. So I call this technique the the scrunch. I just made that up. Here I am, kind of showing off the uh, the side of it. So I'm going underneath my hair just to kind of show how it kind of lifts up. So. It gets all nice and poofy. Anyway, one thing to to really like, I don't know, I guess drive home is you don't need all this hair. I'm just lazy and I don't like getting haircuts. So, I mean, if you're a guy that's possibly, um, you know, you don't have a lot of hair, your hair isn't as long as this, you're balding, uh, seating hairline, just get a wig. I mean, you can really get a real cheap uh, wig at like a Halloween store. Especially now, you can just uh, cut it up. Um, but yeah, if you wanted to kind of go the extra mile, I guess you could grow out your hair. Here I am, a little bit too close. Uh, I am kind of sweeping it backwards now. Just showing off uh, how long it is right here. So, to my front lip. So, just one member of the strokes. Also, I saw an interview with Joe Carey, and he said one of the reasons, or I guess how he gets that volume too is, uh, you know, you don't have to wash your hair every single day. This should be, I don't know, a hair tutorial anyway in general, but uh, usually your hair looks the best, honestly, second, third day. So even immediately coming out of the shower and doing your hair, it's probably not going to look quite stellar. I like to have the windows down a lot, so that helps to uh, kind of just separate my thick, nasty hair. I want to show off some of the products that I use personally. This is a uh, Kevin Murphy Night Rider. You don't have to use this, but for me, I have really thick hair and actually pretty similar. It looks like to Joe Carey's, so just, it's thick and it's kind of just does its own thing. So this really, uh, you know, I I saw him talking about this, or maybe it was his hairstylist or something. I don't remember. It was a few years ago, but uh, this really helps. It's super thick and I hate the way it smells. It smells like a, a tangerine. Uh, it's just really, I don't know. And it's hard to wash off because it's so thick. But you don't need too much. I would say about a quarter size if you have my length of hair. You want to make sure it's rubbed in pretty well and nice and warmed up. Uh, here I am just going through it. Going through the mullet. Making sure pretty much everything's covered. It's already um, starting to look pretty similar to uh, the babysitter right now. Personally, um, I like, uh, I have a natural part. So I have my hair uh, parted to the left. And uh, if you're going for accuracy, Steve Harrington is actually on the opposite side. But it just, uh, I don't know, it's not very comfortable for me. And then it usually just falls out of place anyway. Uh, and again, with you know, like this haircut in, um, in particular, it's about getting it messy. So make sure you do that. 
So this is a hairspray they actually use on Joe Carey's hair. R Plus Co, maybe Arco. It is not cheap. I believe it was like 30 bucks. Same with the Knight Rider pomade stuff that I use. I, this is absolutely not necessary uh, to use this. In fact, I don't even use it. Um, I think it kind of sucks, but then again, I'm not a hairstylist, so I, I really have no idea what I'm doing with it. So uh, for accuracy, I just go with that, and um, you know, you're pretty much set. All right, so we are actually going to be doing something um, pretty much backwards for this uh, portion here. Uh, we want to start with Season 3, uh, Steve Scoops Ahoy costume because this one is actually easier to pull off and something that you're going to see a lot of, uh, especially this Halloween. And um, yeah, it's just easier to get everything together for this one. Uh, first of all, the best way to get this entire look is it's called the, um, it's from Party City. They make their own uh, Steve Harrington Scoops Ahoy costume. It literally has everything you really need aside from an ice cream scoop, which you could just pick up somewhere else. Uh, so uh, it comes with the hat, obviously the costume, the shirt, and the shorts, uh, Steve's name tag, uh, his apron, and a little holster for his ice cream scoop. So I highly recommend getting this one, especially if you're in a pinch right now. I would... If you have a Party City, like a physical store near where you live, go there now to pick this up because I noticed uh, online it's really hard to get, uh, especially the adult size. And um, in order to get it online, you basically had to suffer you know, through eBay. Uh, one aspect of the Season 3 costume that you certainly don't need, and it's probably the hardest besides the hair, and that would be getting his shoes. So his shoes are Adidas Gazelles, and they are the royal blue colorway, which is uh, surprisingly hard to get. I actually had to buy mine overseas uh, from uh, United Kingdom, and they are uh, all sold out, and I just couldn't find the specific color. I know a lot of the colors that you find online right now that are blue are way too dark. So if you look at the pictures of him filming in season three, they are definitely that royal blue where it matches a Scoops Ahoy costume. So like I said, if you're really just in, I guess, a bind right now, I would totally get this one. Super easy to pull off. Uh, only thing you need to buy is, I mean, you could get some random blue shoes and an ice cream scoop and some long white socks and you're set for Halloween. Okay, so this is the way harder uh, costume to pull off for Steve, and that's his season two look. So, I mean, it's pretty expensive too to get everything right. Uh, the members only jacket alone is about 65 bucks, but I think you should have everything already besides that jacket, because underneath it's the undershirt, it's just a black shirt or a navy blue shirt, and uh, Levi jeans. I I wear my like regular casual ones uh, because if you would buy like a classic 80s pair, uh, they really show off your web shooters. So I don't recommend that. Uh, you can get the bat. The bat is just foam. I bought mine at I believe Spirit, uh, the Halloween uh, costume store. It doesn't have any um, nails to it. Uh, you know, luckily. So you could just add those by yourself, or you could just. I don't know, make some marks with some marker. Uh, in terms of the shoes, they are Nike Cortezes, which can be pretty expensive, about, I don't know, anywhere from 65 to 80 bucks, uh, or a little bit more, depending on if you're getting them shipped. The colorway is, uh, really, you could just see it on uh, pictures on websites, but it's just a red swoosh and uh, some blue on it. These are actually my everyday uh, shoes just because they are super comfortable. But season two was way harder of a costume because you had to buy the members only jacket, which is 65 bucks by itself. Uh, the, the Nike shoes are, you know, relatively expensive. And um, yeah, you had to get a baseball bat too. So if I was in a pinch, uh, especially for this Halloween, I would definitely just go with the season three because it's a way easier costume to do. Well, thanks for watching this video. Uh, this is really 
kind of out of our norm for uh, the lamest defenders. Obviously, we like to uh, focus on Marvel-centric stuff. So if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit the, the like button and subscribe. So it, especially if you're a big Marvel fan, there's plenty of stuff. Uh, and then also, too, if you subscribe and look at our older stuff, you can see how long it actually took me to grow out uh, this hair. So maybe uh, you could be prepared to really pull this off at the next uh, convention or maybe even next year's Halloween. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and remember to stay lame.